Okay, so this is going to be uh, just an optional video on complex circuits uh, where we're actually going to calculate uh, all the current and voltage that we would for just any kind of regular circuit, knowing what each resistor's current, what each resistor's voltage is for complex circuits. So this is uh, going to be the bonus material on the test. So let's just make up a random circuit, which means that uh, values are probably not going to come out all that great, but sometimes they just don't come out that great. And there we go. So let's say that this is a, uh, we'll say 54 volt battery. This is a two, a six, an eight. Uh, let's have another six, a 10, a 12, a two, a six, a 14, and a 12. And I just made those numbers up off the top of my head. So this is going to be kind of a uh, great problem here. So all these are resistances, all these are ohms. I just didn't want to spend the time writing ohms for each one of them. So the question is, what is the current and what is the voltage for each one of these resistors? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is start talking about equivalent resistance for the different sections. So uh, I'm going to take a look and in blue I'm going to do this parallel section right here. So we have a 6, 8, and 6 that are all in parallel. So that is going to be uh, 1 over R total is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 6. And when you uh, put it into your calculator or you could do common denominator, whatever it is that uh, strikes your fancy, we could do all of that in the calculator and we get that. These fractions added together gives you 0.458, but we know that just means that our total is one over that, one over 0.458, which gives us an equivalent resistance of 2.18 ohms. So, so that's what we have here between uh, this section, or this blue line and this blue line. This parallel section is 2.18 ohms. Okay, in red, I'm gonna do this section right here. Well, we have something uh, interesting going on here. We have the 12 and the 6 are in series with each other. So this is actually, when we add those together, we get 18, right? And then we have the 18 ohms in parallel with a 2. So that's going to be 1 over our total is 1 over 18 plus 1 over 2, which gives you... Uh, 0.556, which gives you that the R total being 1 over 0.556 gives you a 1.8 ohm resistor. Okay, so let's actually just redraw what we have now. All right, what do we have now? Well, we still have our battery, we still have the lone resistor that we started off with, the 2. Then we're going on, and that parallel section has now been broken down into a 2.18. All right. We are going to round the corner with a 10. We have this other parallel section that was a little bit more complicated because of that series section in there. That is a 1.8. And then we come back around. There's the 14. Coming up, and I believe there's one more there. Yeah, we got a 12. So that's what our circuit looks like now. We've taken out the complicated portions and just replaced them with the resistors that are just the same, uh, just in the single resistor form. And now what we have is just one big series circuit. And we know that series circuits we can just add together. So if we take 2 and 2.18 and 10, 
1.8 to 14 and 12 and add them all up, we get 41.98. I get a total of 41.98. I'm going to leave it like that because if I round it up to 42, and then we're going to have some errors later on for rounding. And uh, so we have 41.98. We have this total voltage of being a 54 volt battery or voltage source, whatever that happens to be. And uh, so now that we know that the total resistance, this is total resistance here, and the total voltage is 54, we can actually figure out what the current is going to be. So current is voltage divided by resistance, which gives us 54 volts divided by 41.98 ohms. And sticking that in the calculator, 54 divided by 41.98 gives us a current of 1.2, we'll call it 1.29 amps. So that's our total current. That means for this circuit that is right here, my pen. Okay, this circuit that is right here the circuit right here is uh, an entire series circuit. We know that in a series circuit we have the same current going all the way around. So the current that's coming out of the battery is exactly 1.29 amps. So therefore, every single resistor on this circuit is all getting 1.29 amps. That being said, that means every resistor that doesn't change in between what we did from the actual complex circuit, so that's saying the 2, the 10, the 14, the 12, all of those resistors are getting all of the current that's coming from the battery. So this is 1.29 amps. This one is 1.29 amps, so is this one, and so is this one. Now, these are getting 1.29 amps, but we know that these are a little bit different. We know that this is 1.29 amps, but uh, these are going to be broken apart into a parallel or series that, like what we have up here. So those are going to be slightly different. So in the blue, we know the blue is not going to change. So these blue numbers are not going to change as we go uh, back to this actual big circuit right here. So going through, if we do voltages, 1.29 amps multiplied by 2 ohms for this first voltage, we would get 2.58 volts. This one is going to be 12.9 volts, just multiplying it by 10. 1.29 multiplied by 14 is going to be 18.06 volts. Uh, this one multiplied by 12, 1.29 times 12, is 15.48 uh, volts. And the other ones, we can still do voltage here, but we're going to have to see that it's going to be slightly different. So 2.18 times 1.29 is 2.81 volts. 1.8 times 2. Point, uh, excuse me, 1.29 is 2.32 volts. So now for every single resistor we have a current and a voltage assigned to it. Okay, We know the blues are not going to change so there's an entire uh, circuit here that is all in blue that uh, is going to fill out our table or whatever it is that we're, we're filling out. We know the cur current and voltage for these resistors. Now the ones in green we're going to do a little bit more work for because as we move back to our actual complex circuit we know that uh, it's not exactly the same, right? It's equivalent, but it's not exactly the same. We've broken it apart. So the thing about this 2.18 circuit here, we know that it gets broken apart into a parallel section, a 6, 8, and 6. If that's the case, then what do we know is the same for parallel? Well, the answer is going to be voltage. We know the voltage is the same for parallel, so that means 2.81 volts has to be used up basically, that's how much energy is used from getting from this point to this point. So that means the, uh, what did I say, 2 point, okay, I just messed up my window there, okay. Uh, it's 2.81 volts, so this is 2.81 volts, this one is 2.81 volts, 
and this one is 2.81 volts. They have to be the same voltage all the way down. So uh, if we have voltage and resistance, we could find current. So 2.81 divided by 6 is a current going through this section of 0.47 amps. And we got that, again, by doing 2.81 volts divided by 6 ohm resistors because we know current is voltage divided by resistance. And if this is 0.47 amps, then that means this one down here, which is also 6, has to be 0.47 amps as well. And the 8 is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be 2.81 divided by 8, and we get 0.35 amps. Now there's some rounding issues that's going to go on here, but what we should see is that the current going through each of the three branches should add up to be the same current that's going into the actual parallel circuit. So if we have that 0.47 plus 0.47 plus 0.35 gives us a current of 1.29. And that's exactly the current that we saw, uh, saw down here, a total current of 1.29. So that means this section is now done. We have a current and we have a voltage for every single resistor here. And we have current voltage for all the resistors that are in black right here. So we now have to worry about this section that is in red. All right, well, again, we have a, a parallel circuit kind of that's, that's being brought up. So we take a look at the voltage down here. 2.32 volts is what we have across this resistor. So that means this section has to get 2.32 volts. And so does this one it has to be 2.32 volts. Now the problem is, is that this 2.32 volts applies to the 18 ohm resistor that the 12 and the 6 give you. So that we have to have one more step in getting to the 12 and the 6. But if we have a 2 ohm resistor and a 2.32 volts uh, voltage, then we can find current here. We can say that the current is 1.16 amps. And again, that's going 2.32 volts divided by 2 ohms of resistance. Now we can play it a little bit smart here and say, okay, well, if we know that 1.29 amps of current is supposed to be coming in, and this section is getting 1.16 amps, what current has to be going through that section? Well, it just it's got to be the rest of it, right? which is going to be, and I'm going to make sure I don't mess this up by sticking it into my calculator, it will be 0.13 amps. So that means 0.13 amps is coming through the 12, and 1.13 amps is coming to the 16. And if that's the case, then now we have a current and we have a resistance for each one of these, and we can find voltage. So 0.13 times 12 gives us a 1.56 volts for that one. 0.13 times 6 gives us a 0.78 voltage there. And take a look, if we add those together, we get 2.34. And again, rounding issues is the same 2.32 volts that we should have across this. So if uh, we're taking a look at the entire thing, then for each one in this parallel section, we have a voltage and we have a current. For each one in this parallel section, which is actually complex, we have a voltage and a current. And then for each of the other ones, we have a voltage and a current for those as well. Okay, So this was a very complicated process. Each one of it, it all comes down to V is equal to I times R. How many times did we use it? We used it for every single resistor, sometimes more than once. And uh, we end up getting a voltage and a current. We know exactly what's happening in our circuit for every step of the way in terms of voltage and current. All right, watch this again if you uh, are having some issues following along. Pause, think about it, and hopefully you can get the bonus tomorrow.